Well, my name is Callie Odom Gentry. The age for the military was 17 to 45. So I was accepted at the school kill arsenal in Philadelphia. The BNO station is the station that I had to report to to go to my duty station. And the first time that I encountered the separation of black people from white people was on that B&O train. When the train got to Washington, the black people had to go to a coach behind the engine. And with all the smoke, the, you know, the windows were open and the coal dusts and everything. When I got to Des Moines, Iowa, I was filthy dirty and along with everybody else. From the window being open so we could get air, you know, and all that stuff blowing on us, we needed a bath as soon as possible. Before the war, they didn't want black soldiers in the Air Force. The War Department said the black men didn't have the intelligence to fly. And if they encountered an incident, they would run. During their escort period, they never lost the bomber, but the Tuskegee Airmen, of course, suffered large losses because in the in their job of protecting the bombers